It's been dubbed Super Saturday, the day that non-essential businesses can once again open their doors after the coronavirus lockdown. At this Brighton salon, the final touches are being added to ensure the safety of both the customers and the staff. It's been quite a task, um, but we're there nearly. Still got a few bits and pieces to do, i.e. putting up leaflets. <laughs> We've just got to make sure that the salon is safe, two metre rule, and we'd be wearing visors, um, we ask the clients to come in and obviously have a mask on, sanitise hands, and yeah, apart from that, we're ready to go, so. A grant helped Vicky keep her business afloat, but she admits that a second lockdown will bring with it financial uncertainty. You know, as far as um, financial side, I've been lucky. I don't know about other salons, but I was fortunate to get a grant help me we won't have to go back into lockdown who knows i think we just want to be careful and make sure that everyone that comes to the door is fit and well and including the staff but anyone hoping to get an appointment with a nail technician will have to wait just a little longer. The government have not yet provided a date for when nail salons and mobile nail technicians can start trading again. And it is not just customers that are feeling frustrated. I have screen, gloves, mask, you know, and this is like my personal opinion. It's totally unfair, but I try to be quite neutral with this. I try to be positive and think like, OK, maybe... Maybe need to be like this. Maybe need to be step by uh, step. You know, I'm not. I'm not working in government. I'm not educated in that stuff. So maybe something which I don't understand. But of course, I feel disappointment. Yes. It is apparent from Anna's social media that nail art is a passion and not simply a source of income. Meaning, being separated from her work has been very difficult. I try to do nail art every day, something, but it's not the same uh, when you're doing this for your customer and you just you see the like a happy face, and it's like my passion. It's the conversation. It's not just job, and doing this on the fake nails on, in my house is not the same. As many of us begin to look forward to indulging in a bit of pampering, the wait for some is far from over. Olivia Marshall, Latest TV News.